Hi, this is Greg with Seven Lights Nutrition, and I'm making this quick video today on sulfur and why sulfur is so important in our diets and why we all need to be taking sulfur every single day. Let me start with what's happening with our farming in the United States and around the world. Um, we're spraying pesticides on all these different plants, and we're treating the soils with chemical fertilizers. What's happening is if you look at the, the plants, uh, and I'm going to show you a picture of it right here. This one comes from our, our U.S. government, uh, USDA website, and I don't know if you can see all of this perfect or not. But anyway, here's the, here's the plants. Here's the roots of the plants. And if you look at the roots of the plants, there are all these different microbes that attach to the roots of these plants, um, different bacteria and fungi. And all of these things play a critical role in taking nutrients from the soil and processing them into the roots of the plants so that the plants get the adequate minerals that they need so that we have healthy plants. If people eat healthy plants, you have healthy people. So what's happening with Roundup? What's happening with pesticides, chemical fertilizers? They are disrupting this process. They're killing beneficial microbes in the soil and disrupting it the same way that antibiotics disrupt beneficial soil microbes or, or uh, microbes within the human digestive system. It's almost the identical process of what's happening. And this is why we're, we are having such a, a epidemic of diseases in the United States today and around the world. We're mineral deficient. These plants are not getting the correct minerals that they need. Uh, and then we're taking these plants and stripping them even further of their nutrients. So once they're, once they're harvested uh, and sent to food facilities, they, they process them, they bleach them, they strip them of all their nutrients so that they can have extended shelf life. And then they take these plants and, and refortify them with synthetic vitamins and minerals that aren't the way they were intended from the beginning. And so you have all of these dead plants, dead foods, and ultimately leads to dead people. So this is so important when it comes to this discussion of sulfur. The best analogy I can give you is that sulfur is like a locomotive freight train. Picture a locomotive freight train like this picture coming down the tracks. Okay, you need the locomotive to pull the other boxcars. This is what happens with sulfur in the soil. The oxygen, the minerals, the vitamins, the amino acids, all these different things require sulfur in the soil as your carrier or as your catalyst to take these nutrients from the soil into the roots of the plants and also from uh, ingestion in your body into the cells of your body. So it is a critical mineral and this is something that everybody is deficient in. In addition to what's happening with the farming, we have all of these different chemicals that we're exposed to from all the different uh, chemicals that are dumped into the municipal water supplies, the chemicals that are in your toothpaste, the chemicals that are put on our foods from the artificial dyes, the artificial sweeteners, the artificial flavors, the, the uh, stabilizers, the emulsifiers, and you name it. And all of these chemicals disrupt beneficial minerals from getting into the cells of our body. They're, they're altering our gut flora, which is causing an epidemic of problems. So until people actually get the connection between what's happening in the soil and what's happening in our digestive system and what's happening with, with pesticides and fertilizers and antibiotics and chemicals in our foods, they're never going to get why there is a disease epidemic in this country. So I hope that you can at least get what I'm saying from this video. This is why I recommend sulfur. I recommend all the minerals, but start with sulfur. It is the most important. It is one of the most abundant minerals in the earth, but one of the most efficient minerals we have in our diets, and it's needed to make everything else work better. So I'm not saying sulfur alone. Uh, however, sulfur is so deficient that sulfur alone with most people makes such a dramatic improvement that they'll see results within a few days, whether it's their allergies or their skin, their hair, their nails, their bones, their joints, inflammation, you name it. All of these things have a profound difference with people because of adding the right sulfur back into the body. However, I recommend pairing it up with other minerals. We have a product called Living Stones, which is a full spectrum mineral supplement. You still need the calcium, the magnesium, the potassium, the sodium, uh, the chromium, the selenium. You need the, the zinc. You need all these ionic trace minerals. So take them together in a good form that works. And you pair that up with sulfur, and that is the foundational building block of any good health program that you're going to take or be on. Um, you cannot survive without minerals. 
They are your building blocks. Minerals and amino acids are the two most essential things to ingest and take into your body. They're not things that your body creates and makes. They're things that you have to get from your diet. And they're things that we're not getting from our diet because of what's happening with farming and what's happening with our food production. And so I'm going to be making many more videos in the future, but hopefully this is going to be enough to, to uh, inspire you to get you on the right program. So anyway, go to our site, check some of our other videos out, and start taking our sulfur defense every day. Pair it up with our living stones and watch what you're going to see happen in your health. Thanks for watching.